Welcome, welcome. We're still working out some kinks coming into YouTube Live and not Facebook Live any longer. And sometimes we get the right channel and sometimes we don't. So we're hoping we have the right channel today. That's the public one. And hi, I'm Karina Karjan, and I have two special guests today. I have Colleen Burrell, who is up on the top, who is digital holistic media. And then Kimberly, the way my screen shows, is below us. She is Wella Veda. And so what does that mean? Well, not many people really understand Ayurveda. However, this is something that she is starting to bring to the audience now for a different way naturally to start healing, specializing with women's thyroid situations. And Colleen, who has been for years working in digital media, jumped over into holistic media, meaning working with holistic practitioners, especially brand new entrepreneurs, because there's a wealth of things to understand and learn, but not to get overwhelmed by it. So that has to be broken down. Or for those of us who have been in the holistic world for a long time and really never explored digital media, she starts taking you through all that. So welcome, 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 beautiful ladies. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. It Dana. is my pleasure. And so, as always, with CSI, it's create a source of inspiration. And what does that mean? That means that this particular live segment is focused on giving you a form of inspiration and to help uplift you. Now, that may seem Ooh, could be a little bit out there, but it's not true. It's very practical and realistic because whenever you start to feel even the smallest amount of, oh, that was nice to hear that, that in your physiology starts setting off your endorphins. And what does that do for you? You are now in a better space. The day is better and you illuminate to others. So you impact them and they have a better day too of whoever is interacting with you. So it really is important to start to listen to things where people are very positive, very uplifting. And really the focus too for different speakers that come on Everybody has a different perspective about how to become inspired. And all of our knowledge really rests in the origins of our perspectives. And our perspectives lie in the origins of all our experiences and what we listen to and what we're impacted by. So take a beautiful breath. Just release with an ah. Uh. And I'd love to pose the questions. So Kimberly, this is the first time on our show. So I would love to ask you to tell our audience, what is inspiration to you? Oh, thank you. Yes, I've, I've really been uh, thinking about this a lot, to be honest. Um, you know, what What really inspires me currently, uh, a couple of things. Personally, um, I really love being in nature. Nature really um, just, it just fills me with energy. And it really just uh, makes me feel very connected to everything. And... Um, you know, yeah, I, it must give me those endorphins, too, because it just makes me feel so good um, being in nature. Um, 
But what really um, inspires me in having connections with other people is, is really just being able to, like you say, just honestly making someone else feel good, even if it's just a smile or, or just, um, you know, saying something uplifting and just, you know, their day is just, you know, that 1% better, that teeny tiny itty bitty, some, you know, light in their day. Um, that really, it, it, I might be giving to them, but it just gives back to me. And, um, and then of course, um, with my health coaching, that is, it is so inspiring to see women, you know, really be empowered in their own health. Like uh, that's just, um, that's, that's really what keeps me going. Um, so yeah. It's such All a beautiful things. thing too. Thank you very Thank you. much. Mm -hmm. It is huge. It really is huge. So we'll come back to an inspirational story from you. But as you said, you also become inspired. And you become inspired because, as we say in Reiki, you give a session, you get a session. It's an energy exchange. And so the more that people absolutely start to learn about this energy exchange, then they're going to see how they can mindfully bring it into their life and really start working with it. And then, of course, as we know, magic opens up. <laughs> mm. Yes. So, Colleen, I would love for you to share with the audience your perspective on inspiration. Absolutely. So I would like to build off of what you ladies have already mentioned. And um, that is, you know, that we have come together. Oops. There we go. We have come together to inspire others. And I have just really found inspiration for myself in having the opportunity to be with a group, be supported by a group of individuals who believe in their dreams. And, and in that, they are also supporting your dreams. And really, that has just, I'm going to say, lit my fire <laughs> <laughs> lately. <laughs> Because it is just so beautiful to be in the presence of other people that have that belief and have that conviction to go after their dreams. And they want to support you as well on your journey and your dreams. Um, you know, previously in my life, I was maybe not surrounded by people who necessarily had my best interests at heart. And so now intentionally being with people who do have my best intentions at heart, I mean, it's, it's so inspiring. It's so uplifting. And it just, it just makes me so happy to, um, to be in a beautiful space like this. Well, thank you, Colleen, very much. And yes, it's it. Absolutely. To be with people with like-mindedness, which is really like intention, that is how the universe starts to align us. So whatever aspiration you may have, it's kind of like getting an energy boost, even though that the others have different aspirations, the intention, the core of the whole thing is the same and so the universe gives more it's not something to be hoarded as a lot of people do do and think that they won't be enough it works just the opposite so the more that you connect and intentionally release out without agenda without attachment, 
No, it doesn't mean that you don't have a purpose. Of course you have a purpose, but it doesn't mean you're attached to how the outcome is going to be because the universe, the divine timing could be very different than what we anticipate it to be. And so if we don't get wrapped up in grabbing hold of something like a simple analogy is if you pick up a handful of sand and if you keep squeezing it, it starts to come and you lose it through your fingers, it escapes you. Whereas if you just coddle it, it stays there beautifully and then it has the light to start to flicker. <laughs> it were it really does work the same way. I know it may sound simplistic, but as complicated and as beautiful as the universe is, it boils down to this elegant, graceful simplicity. I love how you just said that, Karina. That and it's That's true. true. The more you learn, the more you understand that this is this is true. This is the big T. This is the big T. We want to uncomplicate it. So since we <clears throat> are giving such beautiful vibes out there to you, because that's our intention. Kimberly, do you have, it can be an inspirational story of your own or a client or a family. It doesn't matter. What would you like to share with the audience today to help uplift them? Mm, yes. So, um, one profound thing that I've learned, actually, um, when I was in um, my my teachings with Deepak Chopra and the Ayurvedic uh, Chopra University, something that he said to me was so amazing. It literally just stuck in my head, and I I just always think about this: is that you are not your thoughts. Like you are not your thoughts that I was just like, wait, what? Because <laughs> of course I'm my thoughts because I think them. But um, the fact is that sometimes your thoughts are not um, productive. They are not um, they are not you. They are not the essence of you. Um, and what is you is um, what inspires you and your beliefs um i i really had been drawn to um something in the in the health world um i don't know if you've heard of spontaneous remission spontaneous remission from like you know like big diseases um people have basically been miraculously cured right but in a way, it's not miraculous because it it goes down to their their core essence that they believe that they can heal themselves. And that is something that, um, you know, I want to share, like no matter what uh, you're going through, like mentally or physically, um, that there is always hope that your body can heal itself. Your body wants to heal. And um, I love to just bring that little bit of hope, no matter like what's going on, that um, your belief in yourself, that you can be what you want to be, is, is just amazing. And... Um, that's what I really want to share. Well, thank you. That is very powerful. And it is very true. Um, our thought life is based primarily first on the filters that we've acquired through life. And that's what people, especially at the youngest possible age, even as the fetus, what is being constantly said to us. And then the experiences that happen and what the results are of those situations 
our brain assesses it a certain way, and then there becomes a language. Now, the language doesn't mean that it's the truth. It just means at that moment, that's the best of the ability that your brain was able to sort it out so you could survive. But the truth of it is, with the mindfulness and the proper core connection, your belief system with your neurotransmitter pathways can start changing as you change your speech, you change your thoughts. And so we become more empowered the more mindful we become. So yes, in essence, no, we're these amazing spiritual beings. And the physical body, as well as our spiritual, emotional bodies, all know what to do. It is our belief systems that hold us at certain levels. And so there are certain protocols and ways to keep opening up your belief systems. So there, you're absolutely correct. It doesn't matter what anything looks like. There is always hope. But that's something you first have to believe. And so when you can't believe it, there are others like us that hold that place for you <laughs> until you can believe. And then we help you grow your belief system. So your whole essence can become healthy and whole. And that's what holistic really is. Yes, we there's all different areas when it comes to that. But there is a, lack of a better pun, a wholeness <laughs> about the entire being of us. And the intelligence is just beyond our comprehension, actually, from the yeah. conscious mind only. So thank you very much, Kimberly, because yes, it is important for people to remember just because they're thinking a certain way right now, they don't have to be imprisoned by that in their past. If they choose, because it is a choice, is not their future. And yes. It doesn't even have to be their present. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you. And Colleen, do you have an inspira inspirational story to share with the audience today? Yes. Well, actually, Kimberly just reminded me um, of a beautiful example of this story that you're you're talking about with the spontaneous um, remission and, you know, being able to basically transform your future. Um, the author is escaping me at this time, but my dad actually had gifted me the book, The Power of Positive Thinking. And um, within it, he describes a story of a man who had a child and the child um, was born without hearing. Um, however, from early on, from his whole life, he would whisper, you know, into his skull and, and say the words, you know, that I believe in you, you can hear, you know, all, all these positive reinforcement. And even though the doctors and everyone were just like, okay, this guy is crazy, like, sorry, but your child is not ever going to be able to hear. Well, around the age of 12 or 13, uh, all of a sudden he was able to hear. And of course it was because his father was filling his mind with this belief that he could hear. And so he had no other, of course, he, he was destined to be able to hear um, because of just this beautiful support and um, reaffirmation that he was receiving. So thank you for reminding me of that beautiful story, Kimberly. And um, yeah, I just, I it's so beautiful that we're able to come together and, and nurture this holistic um, view for everyone. And as Karina was saying about, about the big T, um, you know, that, Maybe if you're watching this, it seems far off 
that, you know, you can't achieve um, getting to this ideal place that you want to be in your life. But as Karina had mentioned, it really is about making it easy and coming into the ease um, and the flow with the universe and Karina just really beautifully introduces the breath and how you can utilize that to come into this ease with the universe so I just wanted to mention that because that the breath work and just applying all these different aspects has really been part of my inspiration over the past year or so to really fully more come into this um, this incredible space that I am now in. Well, thank you, Colleen. And yes, that that is a absolutely amazing story. I do remember the book. And it is the truth. We don't know what happened when the sound was a fetus. We don't know what it was exposed to sound-wise, what chemicals in the environment. We have no idea. But the fact that the body wants to heal itself, words are power. They are food. And people forget that. Yep. So when you speak empowering words instead of disempowering and we go over that in language tracking so you can start to discern what's what now you're fueling your body again and the more you connect the truth of it is healing becomes the byproduct it's not like you have to focus on trying to heal this and heal that. And pushing pushing the energy like that, eventually something may pay off, but it's not a pleasant journey that way, and it takes a much longer time. So, yes, this miracle, because we will put it in the realm of a miracle, Miracles are something that I like to use the term spirit natural, not just supernatural, because spirit comes into play and we are spiritual beings. So we draw on that part of ourselves to work holistically with the being that we are on this planet in this plane, third dimension. With that, everybody can have these miracles show up in their life. So we, I just want to say that for you. It is not just for, oh, well, it only could happen to that person <laughs> or it only happened to that person over there. Let me tell you something. We all go through some serious journeys while we're in this lifetime. You may not see it on the people, of what they've gone through. So it's not like it was easy peasy that they got into the better states when you see them, as you see our states here. So know that there is always something waiting for you, something beautiful and unexpected. Because it does exist. The divine wants you to flourish. We want you to flourish. So we are here for you. And with that thought of flourishing, last year we did CSI twice a month. This year there's going to be a little bit of a change. Right now it is going to be once a month, the third day of the week, on the third week of the month, at 3 p.m., hopefully live on YouTube. <laughs> if not, we will be uploading the video right away. So you know every month you can tune in 
and then you can come back and you can grab the portion that's important to you. But we are bringing a second talk show to you. And it is called Holistic Health on Topic. To be holistically healthy, we're talking about every walk in life that impacts your life. So, yes, of course, it's inspiration and uplifting, but there are real heart issues. There are thyroid issues. There are media problems. There are financial problems. There are relationship problems. And so we are lining up specialists in all these different areas. And once a month, we're going to be coming to you live with those discussions. Now, look for the posts because they'll be coming out. We don't have the designated times and space yet, but trust me, it is going to happen starting next month. So we really welcome you and welcome your friends to come. But also because now it's important to go and be more in YouTube. We would love for you to come and be part of our subscriber family. And in doing so, I am offering a special gift to you for subscribing. Now, we have to figure out how it's going to be posted. And maybe it's going to be posted for every description of the video that we do. I don't know. That's Colleen's department to figure that part out. <laughs> um, but she will. And in that, there will be a link where we will just ask for your email and your name. So then you can download and get that free gift right away. And it is a resource that will be able to impact your life in the most positive way. So that is the gift that I want to give to you for help us helping other people to give gifts to them just so we can uplift them. So this has now become a mission. And in the mission, we're now going to start to blog more information. So I'm setting that up on the website. You're going to get a chance to start to see that coming into play for more information. And for the last two years, I have been doing free workshops almost once a month for the last couple of years. I'm going to be changing that a little bit, and I'm going to be changing the formatting to of the group programs that I offer. This year is going to be the last year where you get to do the first three-month segment, or you get to do the whole seven months. Next year, it's going to be set up quite differently. But the home studies are coming in with special things of actually a five to seven day course that you get to come into a live class as well. And a two to six week, there are two live classes you're going to be able to come into. And when I do publicly give workshops now, because I do a lot of different donations. There's going to be three areas in which you're going to be able to donate because the donation to come into the workshops is going to be $33. And 100% is going into either, I have several on animals, I have the Wounded Warrior Vets, and I also have the Shriners for the Children and all of it is wrapped around injuries and trying to help people become whole and inspire them for the rest of their life. And since I've been injured several times in my life, this is the direction of where I have been focused and putting my donations to. So I'm going to ask you to help me to do that as well. So that's all the breakdown news for all those things. So I need you to keep coming and watching. 
And yes, there are big changes happening and we're all very much excited about it. And we do have a national food campaign as well. It can be international, but right now we're working on national. So if anybody's interested of any information, we will also give you the, we'll give the client support email link where they can just inquire. And what that means is that energy has to flow both ways, right? In order for everybody, for the rising boats, the rising tide, we rise all together. So with that concept on my website, as we are building up the ranking power, there will be a complete page for all of those that are part of the National Foot Campaign. And so you'll get to learn more of that. But now you'll also have another way to be recognized in the virtual world. So girls, did I leave anything out? <laughs> that all I sounds amazing. Covered it. <laughs> it sounds very amazing. I'm very excited for all of us and everybody that we can reach. And the slogan is dreams are real. And they are not a luxury. They're a necessity. Without dreaming, these in inspiration is with imagination is part of all this that happens. Dreams happen. Dreams are actually a goal. And a goal is a target. A target is a mindful focus. When you put all these things together, the universe knows what you want. And it will make it happen in quantum time and even better than you can imagine it. We've all experienced it. You can experience that too. Come and be part of our tribe. And we will love to have you. With that, my darling girls, is there any last words you would like to close to the audience before we bid them a good evening, good morning, good afternoon? <laughs> I love that. I'm feeling really inspired right now. Um, so thank you. Thank you both. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. Yes, absolutely. Um, Kimberly said it. Um, I'm feeling inspired and uplifted. And Karina has uh, provided so many beautiful ways that you can connect with us. If you have any questions or just an email away, so definitely subscribe. There's more goodies to come. And thank you so much. And thank you very much for coming and tuning in and absorbing the inspiration so you can illuminate it to other people as you are illuminating your own life and starting to align to bring better, beautiful things into your life. It's like in the fitness world, when I could see somebody that I could help in post rehab and they start to feel better and stopped being in the pain, what happens is that your person, your persona, your spirit gets uplifted and then you start thinking better, speaking better and doing better things which makes your immediate world better, but also everybody you engage with. And that's how the individual can make a difference and change the world. If every single person started to pay attention in this manner, yes, we're here to change the paradigm of what's going on right now. And we're not going to get into that. So we're leaving you with blessings, many blessings, and we will see you soon. God bless. Bye.